So Christmas came early. Uh, the FedEx guy just uh, dropped off this box. Um, so I've been trying to figure out a, a source for the smoke. Um, so I was looking around. Um, some people had bricked in little, uh, fireplaces for the smokehouse. Other people had just used like a, uh, a wash tub or a, a tin basin and put charcoal in it and then their wood chips. And I wanted to have cold smoke, but I also wanted to have the option of hot smoke. So um, a friend of mine was telling me about the one he saw on Sportsman's Guide. So I went ahead and ordered it the other day. Um, and we'll go ahead and open it right now, uh, check it out. It's a small and it weighs 47 pounds, um, which is perfect because I, I wanted, you know, obviously to be able to use it in the smokehouse, but I'm in my workshop right now, which does not have heat. Um, I've been using one of those um, propane heaters, which isn't bad, but you know, it just, I don't know, the, the whole idea of being uh, dependent on propane all the time is, is not something I look forward to. So. Anyways, uh, this is the HQ issue. Uh, it's the what is it? Sixty four eight zero eight one HQ issue wood stove. So it's a little small one. I'll show you the picture of it before it's assembly. It's out right there. It comes with the stove pipe. Stove pipe's an odd size. I noticed that it's like three point three seven uh, in diameter. What I did find out though was that um, some exhaust, like flexible exhaust. Um, that they carry at like the auto parts store will actually fit. It's close to that. So I can keep it low and just have out of the top of it a, an exhaust that goes into the, the smokehouse to get us the smoke itself. So um, probably not going to be able to lift it out. So I'll go ahead and just cut the size of the box. Um, this is like Christmas. I always like opening up the boxes, seeing what's in. Inside. Even though I know uh, it'll still be a surprise to me. I guess I'm at that age where I forget things, so uh, that's a good way to dull my knife. Wonderful styrofoam. So this is it. It's not very big, um, which I didn't want it to be big anyways. Um, should be just big enough to do the job. Uh, I was watching a couple other videos. Um, can't remember the guy's name, sorry, but uh, he was showing how to season a wood stove because they do paint, uh, paint them with uh, heat resistant paint, but if you get a real big blaze in there, you can um, scorch the paint and I don't want to do that. So probably what I'll do is just use some, uh, one guy was using charcoal briquettes to, to do it. So that's probably what I'll do. I have no shortage of charcoal. So let me go ahead and pull this out, see if we can get rid of the box. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty heavy duty gauge metal. Um, here's the door. Uh, we've got it wire tied shut. Cut that. And there's the latch. And it comes with all the uh, stove pipe and everything. It's in there pretty tight. A little HQ logo. I like their branding. everything out so like I said boy it's a heavy duty heavy duty smoke smokestack here and there's some parts there those are the legs uh, but that's the actual smokestack and you can see it's pretty pretty heavy duty so I'll set that over there I am I am very surprised. Um, it was seventy one uh, seventy one bucks. If you get their uh, membership, that's what kept the price. And you get uh, kept the price down. You get free shipping. Uh, they have a free thirty day membership. There's the very top. Cool little uh, almost looks like a, a muzzle brake. Uh, you get free shipping, and you get they offer right now a free thirty day uh, membership. Then after thirty days, I think it's like thirty bucks a year or something like that. I, it's been a while. If 
covered with sawdust have been still cutting lumber with a chainsaw mill. Not a fast process. I uh, sent my wife out to the uh, chainsaw store to uh, pick up a new uh, chain for me. Grandberg makes them. You can also get, you know, whatever brand. I have a steel chainsaw. I'm not trying to. If steel wants to send me a free saw for that plug. I'd come take it. But um, so uh, we're getting a new ripping chain because it's the other one. I've been sharpening it. Um, but it just doesn't seem to be holding the sharpening anymore. So pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. A little neat, neat looking little stove. I'll put everything together and then I'll um, add that video in. So I got the assembly done, uh, which was super simple. It came with a small bag that had 12 uh, bolts, uh, hex head bolts. They are the same ones that you see on the dampers here. Um, bolted the legs in, bolted the um, attachment for the smokestack, and that was it. I am I'm really surprised. I for 70 bucks I thought it was going to be tin. I thought it was going to be something flimsy, but the door, uh, I'm pretty sure this is cast. Um, on the inside, it's, it's real thick. Uh, I don't know what gauge uh, steel it is, but it's, it's pretty heavy duty. Um, the legs seem real solid. It, it's not wobbly or anything. I put it on the floor. Um, the legs actually uh, keep it steady. It doesn't rock back and forth. There is a little uh, placard on the back um, that I'll show you. It's not real heavy. It says about 47 pounds total. Um, I don't know if you can read that or not. It says uh, not rated for indoor or actually home use. Uh, it's temporary or outdoor. So like I said, I'm, I'm definitely going to be using it for the smokehouse. I may use it here in the workshop. I haven't, uh, haven't decided yet. Um, but I'm, I'm super pleased. I mean, I, honestly, I, I figured I was going to be getting, and it's got a really, good, a really good seal. I thought for that kind of money that I was going to get something chintzy. But, you know, for what I was going to use it, I wasn't, you know, really upset. But I think with a little bit of care, uh, keep it out of the weather, this thing should last a long time. Uh, I've already dry fitted the pipes. They uh, work well. All you do is just stack them on just like that. Um, and then uh, it's good to go. So I'll, I'm going to season it um, and then uh, get it get it running. Uh, we've got most of the boards cut. Uh, I'll be assembling the smokehouse probably this afternoon or this evening, just you know, building the walls kind of modular and then setting them on the foundation and uh, I'll try to bring you along as we do that. So uh, HQ issue from Sportsman's Guide. Uh, it's www.sportsmansguide.com. Uh, again, I don't get anything from it, but uh, it's a really cool little stove if you got some projects going on. i tell you where I get some of my inf uh, inspiration. Um, there's a guy on YouTube, Joe and Zach Survival. Uh, he also has another site called Northern Seclusion. Uh, Joe is his name. He does a lot of really cool videos, kind of hooked on those. And a lot of the stuff I've seen him do, I uh, thought, well, it'd be kind of neat to and, you know, try it out. Uh, his stove is a little bit bigger, um, but I figure you know, he's got a tent uh, up in, I guess, northern Minnesota, something like that. But uh, just a, a quick shout out to Joe. Thanks for the inspiration. So as we go along, I'll keep you up to date. Thanks. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get ready to start seasoning it. Uh, just have some uh, cheap charcoal. Uh, it's the instant light stuff. I'm just going to put a few in there, probably start with maybe six or eight, and then uh, like I said, just, just enough to kind of get the, keep it from burning the paint off. Um, I don't have the smokestack set up the right way. Um, just Like I said, I'm just using it to season right now. Eventually, I'll, I'll use that, but I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't think I, I'm going to use it, obviously, with the smoke, or with the smokehouse, but uh, who knows. So... Got a, a good bit in there, so like I said, I put, probably got about, I don't know, eight or ten pieces in there now. So I'm going to go ahead and use the handy dandy lighter.
it should get it going. I'll bring the camera in a little closer. I don't know if you can see in there or not. I think most everybody knows what a fire looks like. So <clears throat> I'm going to leave the door open for just a little bit to let the charcoal get lit and then uh, close it up. Like I said, it's a really nice door, cast iron. It's got some uh, two dampers on it. Um, so we'll give it, like I said, give it a chance to heat up a little bit and then uh, get it good and seasoned.